Good morning. Day two out here at Bushcraft Wonderland, episode five. So good progress. And it wasn't yesterday. It was actually the day before. It has been so cold out here and just really uh, wind-driven cold. So I gave it a day. Today's a little bit more favorable. If I was out here yesterday, I mean, I would have been ultimately fine, but the audio would have been rough. The conditions would have been rough, and I made it the call to wait a day. So it's not exactly the next day, but the day after. So anyway, a lot to do today. Um, I walked in and the ground was so frozen, I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to dig. But I do think after walking through the wooded areas, the wind's not quite as strong in here. The sun's beating down real nice, and I think I can probably dig. If I can dig, I'm going to get started on some walls. If I can't dig, I have a lot of other things that I need to make. I really want to make a gear rack. I need to make some pegs and peg some things down. I want to make a more formal working area with my saw horses and whatnot. So I do have a bunch I can do regardless, but either way, I got a long day ahead of me. Uh, it's bright and early. I mean, early start today, which is nice. And I do expect I can get a lot accomplished. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I can dig. So if I can dig a little pocket right here, it's gonna let me put a support nice and tight up against this, which will help kind of anchor everything in place. That's my first plan. I'm gonna put another one on the opposite side of this and lash it all together. That'll also help block off this little corner. And that's gonna establish my wall across the side of here. So curious to see how this will go. I think I'm already hitting rock, which that I know is going to be the difficulty digging right here. Uh. And that is either a big boulder or a chunk of ledge. So with the rock down there, I'm probably going to have to go to plan B, which is I was going to build myself an A-frame shelter if I ran into this problem. And I think that's what I'm going to do is make myself a frame. But in the meantime, I can still work on the back wall here, which will be no problem. I did a real quick test pit here, and I do have the ability to dig without hopefully hitting any rock. So we'll see. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Just get myself a post set here. I can start building a wall along the back side. So at least I'll be able to move forward and the digging doesn't seem to be too bad. I didn't realize it before, but another Widowmaker kind of sitting right over where I am. And that's actually going to be perfect for my post so might as well get that out of the way and get myself the lumber that I need so uh, hopefully this doesn't undo some of the work I've already done but we'll see
It was close, but I did it. So, yeah, I got that down, and luckily, without snapping this, landed right beside it. I mean, kind of hit it just a touch, but right on the ground where it's bearing, so no damage done. And I am glad because with everything I've done so far, oh, I don't want to be taking steps backwards, but this log's going to be very useful to me for a whole bunch of different reasons. So glad to have that on the ground, first and foremost, because it's dead. And I didn't want it to eventually come down and crush me. You could see quite easily that may have fallen this direction. Now, the other part of the tree, which is still standing, appears to be alive. We'll see in the spring when the buds come out, whether or not it leaves out. But so far, it looks pretty good. And I think even if it was to go, the way it's leaning, it would go the opposite direction. So, oh, that's a lot of work, but that's on the ground. twisty and weird, but that's going to be one beefy support. Nice.
All right, so I'm cutting the tops of my posts off level with the first one. The first one dictated the height. It is what it is. I could have either put my roof at a slant this way or kept it level. It's already gonna be sloped up towards the rock, so I already got pitch on the roof, shedding all the water away from me, so I didn't need it pitching in two directions. I just opted to go level. Now, granted what that means is, if I come into the back side of the shelter here, I am gonna be crouched down a little bit, but the benefit to having it a little bit low, cut down on wind, a little less volume, it'll help keep everything nice and warm as I get my fire inside. So I opted for a little bit low, but level. And the other thing is, it's gonna minimize the amount of mass up high. Keep everything balanced and low, anchored and secure into the ground. You don't want too much weight on top, it becomes top heavy. So just reducing a little bit of the weight. And that was a pretty sizable chunk. I bet you that's like 80 pounds that I don't need, stressing and pulling on the corners. So that's gonna be a big benefit. All right, so each one of my back wall posts, you can see now, they are level. So that was a good amount of work to get these in, but the good news is I have firmly established my wall. And at this point, you can kind of see how this is shaping out. So got my bench, back wall. Here we have my main corner post right here, right there. And I'm not sure if the back one uh, over there is gonna end up being a corner post or just another one in the back wall because I might either square up on this and come in back towards the rock or continue on over towards where I'm building the ladder structure but we'll see to be determined not quite there yet but shaping up nicely So just getting a little bit of work done off camera. You'll see basically on this corner support, I have now added this additional column here to help support my ridge pole. Got myself a nice ridge pole for the back wall. Just kind of threw it up here real quick to see what I'm up against. And it looks like it's gonna work out pretty nice. It's a good size and fairly substantial, which is really good because that's gonna have to support the entire roof. And I may at some point add sort of a central brace here just to see uh, if it needs it but for now I'm just gonna go as it is next move for me I basically have to do the same thing so I got to get myself a little support column beneath here so I can lash up and to the uh, middle column and that'll be 
of that. And then finally, I'll continue on. You can see that's pretty much long enough to span all the way across, but I'm gonna do it in two segments. So one wall panel and a second wall panel there. And actually what I'm thinking is, depending on the digging, which looks to me by that mound, that it's gonna be a, a tough, tough dig. Looks like a pocket of ledge there, and I know it is from the bench. Um, but ideally, that's where I'd put my door. Now, in retrospect, if that's the case, I may have to put the door on this wall, which I didn't really want to do, but actually that's kind of nice, going out the door and looking out and into the sun. So that might be what I do. But yeah, pretty good progress so far. And with this, I think it's time for some lunch. So this is a very untypical meal for me today. I don't usually eat carbs as I am generally on a keto diet, which minimizes carbs. But the nice thing is I can opt to use carbs to my advantage when I need it. And I thought today, nice little ramen with some salty broth would be perfect for a day like today where I'm expending tons of energy just utilizing this to my advantage. And so, yeah, on a nice cold day, I think this is gonna be a treat. I have not had noodles in quite a long time, and I can tell you, noodles and rice and pasta, I do greatly miss while I'm on my diet, so this is gonna be a nice little treat. actually sit down and something that feels kind of normal to sit on <sighs> this is going to be a nice treat so the support structure for the first wall panel is done now unfortunately I'm at a little bit of a halt in terms of my ability to continue working on walls because I am out of cordage, which means I need to go order myself some more. But at least at this point, this panel is pretty much done. So today, good progress in terms of getting some walls established. And you can see it is coming together fairly well. Now, everything's pretty well lashed. I'm happy with the way it went. Everything feels nice and sturdy. I mean, shaking on here feels pretty good so might it need a little bit of additional bracing yeah I guess we'll see once we get a little further into it but so far that's working out mighty nice so now a few last things I'd like to get accomplished before I leave for the day as you've watched me working you know I made this early on just as a working platform but you'll notice it has a tendency to roll around a lot now I could theoretically flip it over and that helps and you know shave off this side which I might do but either way Short term, what I'd like to do is make some pegs and I can drive some pegs down on each side here and really shore this up while I'm working. So I'm gonna make myself some pretty good sized pegs. I wanna say I'm gonna go maybe inch and a half diameter stock here. So that should work out pretty well. So just getting some little controlled bite up on the top, just rounding that off so that when you pound down, you don't squash your steak or split it. This greatly aids in the ability to work with these and not have them split. And I think for something I'm simply gonna pound in the ground, that's gonna be sharp enough. And so at this point, I carved myself out a couple of pegs to get ready for next time when I come out here. Good progress. What an awesome two day uh, sort of experience. Now again, not back to back and I didn't get my overnight in, but 
what great work. Two full days of work out here at Bushcraft Wonderland. That, my friends, was episode five. So thank you very much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed that. At this point, I at least have a start to some walls. That's a big deal. The bench is done. All the cleanup is really underway. This place is really shaping up and I have been absolutely enjoying my time out here. It's quiet, it's peaceful, but I do have to tell you, I saw two dudes walking through. They didn't see me, but I saw two dudes walking through. I'm not sure what they were up to, but I gotta keep my eye on it. So it's got me a little bit bummed out, but hey, you're not going to get a perfect location with nobody and certainly not where I am. So hopefully they either don't find me or if they do, they just respect it here because I want to enjoy this. This has been a lot of work, but apart from that, I just love the experience. So all in all, I guess we'll see what happens. So with that said, episode five is coming to a conclusion. I just got to clean some things up and get out of here. But again, I want to say thank you very much for coming along on this journey, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And we will see you in episode six. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.